In my last area, I was working uh, in an area called Palakur, um, and we, uh, as missionaries uh, in the Micronesian Islands in general, then you have to help the branches a lot. Um, you have to kind of be there for the branch president. You have to be there just to make sure everything goes correctly. And some of the newer branches I served in, you you have to listen pretty well during sacrament meetings so that false doctrine isn't taught. I mean, you just have a lot of converts out there and the church is still young and people are getting used to things. I mean, we had a lot of questions posed as to how are the deacons supposed to pass a sacrament? Is there a certain way to do it? What about this or what about that? And you almost have to have to kind of know your handbook a little bit to to help the people, but I was in a, I was in a branch council meeting, um, and we were just discussing some things, and and all of a sudden I I realized who I was with, um, who was in that branch council meeting, and you had the branch president, who was actually Palawan, had moved to Pompeii, but he had discovered the church just I mean ten years earlier in his life, and he was probably fifty years old. Um, and before that, he he would drink sake all the time. He would get drunk. He would fight. He was very violent. Um, and then the church had come and and changed his life. Also in that branch council meeting was his son, who had served a mission, who had gotten married in the temple, who was actually living in Idaho, um, and had come to visit for long enough that they had given him a calling and kind of pulled him into into the branch and just to see the next generation down. After that, we had a Protestant guy um, and his wife, who was acting as she was as the Relief Society president, and he was acting as Sunday school president. Um, and he he describes himself as uh, <laughs> we asked him one time in a lesson. Um, we're like, all right, so before you joined the church, then you drank a lot of sake, didn't you? And his, 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 I guess to interpret what he, what his response was, it was, yeah, yeah, I drank a lot. It was me, sake, my family. <laughs> I mean, he, it, it was right with him. Um, he also drank a lot. He was Mokalese. He was from a different island. Um, but it was him and his wife and then, uh, another member there, uh, the president of the elders quorum, um, who before that had been a Protestant minister who was very well known in the community, who was, who had converted after, after many a set of missionaries that kind of, kind of worked him, worked him through the process. But, um, just to see, just to see in that one branch council meeting, I mean, you have violence, Sakao, families, generations, everything just changed because of the gospel. Um, and that was that was beautiful. Just to see just to see what the church will do, what the gospel will do.